Hello and welcome. Today we're out with the Detechnics Quest Pro. It's a 13 kilohertz machine and it's a fully waterproof. All terrain machine. Uh, it's got some nice features on it, especially for the price. Stem, extends, and shortens, nice and easy to store away. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about this machine, so it's going to be interesting to see what it does. Just had a little go on the way in and seems fine to me. Keep everything stable as normal, don't run anything too extreme, especially if you've got EMI, and you should be fine. But let's see what happens on the rest of the day. I'll shout the numbers and you'll see the depths. Cheers. Hi then. Uh, as you can see settings here, we're in disc mode. Uh, we've got the gain at 65, threshold at zero. ID filter at 15, we can drop that, but your ground starts sounding off, so we're trying to keep the machine as stable as possible. Different areas, we have different levels, mineralization and so on, and the coil and the machine will react differently. But at the moment I've got ID filter of 15, the ground balance at 53, Audio frequency or audio tone, sorry, at 2 plus and frequency shift at F1. Try and stable, you're still getting some display on the screen now. It's not erratic. I don't normally do that with machines, but as you can see, it's not false enough when you give the machine a knock. And there's the target here. So let's go straight to the dig. Jumping from 70s to 80s. Huckleberry Finn says, meet yours. Yeah, there's enough of them in this ground. Alright, smack down the middle of the hole. Corroded, whatever that is. Corroded that. Looks like it's had some sort of acid on it, whatever it was. That's why I weren't giving the most stable numbers. And that was down nine inches with repeatable audio, but just complete rubbish find. And the detector just fell over. 
knows it was a rubbish find. Right then, on to the next. Right, we've got a target here. Jump on numbers. Bit weird. Give me a dig. In point. Just there. Tiny target, or maybe not. In here. And we have a tiny little button. A very tiny little button. You can see that. There you are. That was down just there. You're looking possibly five inches, but repeatable audio for a nice little button. I thought something else dropped out, but I can't find anything. That's alright, nice little size, gave audio with headphones on, that would have come through crystal clear. Right then, we're still in disc mode, we've still got the gain to 65. Got a threshold of zero. We've got the ID filter at 15. That just helps control the ground sound. If you have it set to zero, the machine will become chatty. So adjust that accordingly. And you want to also combine that with your gain to get everything running smooth. Don't forget you've got your frequency shift. If any other interference is coming in also. Manual ground balance at 63. Uh, audio tones 2 plus and frequency shift of F1. And we can simulate a bit of weed whacking. I don't suggest you do that. But as you can see, the machine didn't force off, didn't give any audio audio whatsoever. So it's a stable machine when you set the machine up stable. Let's move on. In. Nice clean audio. Slightly jumpy numbers. Let's go to the dig. Digging around that is no fun. Just a scrap piece of metal, nice clear audio, down around at six inches. Let's move on. Target here, nice clear audio, slightly jumpy numbers, pinpoint. Just 
here. Go to the dig. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice little relic. I think it's some kind of buckle. I gave nice crystal audio and it was down the back, oh, but yeah. Uh, about there, see, looking a solid eight inches. With nice audio, nice repeatable audio, slightly jumpy numbers, but good. That's what I want to find. Good stuff. On to the next. Alright, nice audio. It's starting to rain now. Hopefully, your camera won't be up. Go to the dig. Some old God knows. Whatever it is, it's there. It's got some kind of top to something. Not too deep, but nice clear audio with the iron just there. So five inches, six inches tops, but you had the big audio, big iron audio just there. Ends the session with the Detechnics Quest Pro. Unfortunately, my camera is not waterproof, but my machine is. So I'm going to carry on detecting for a bit. But my initial thoughts 
is it's a decent machine, especially for the UK price. You get nice features on here, good build quality for what I can see. I can't predict the future, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's all sturdy, no creaks, no rattles. Cool, the actual coil itself, slightly nose heavy, but not a big issue. And I would like to see that display tilted forward slightly, so we'll come into my eye line a bit more. But it is gripping my arms, even with a coat on, the old arm cup. And uh, it's a pleasant machine, run it stable, keep your ID filter at the correct level, so you're not hearing the ground constantly. Sensitivity correct, or gain, and you'll be doing fine. I don't see any issues with this machine as of yet. Cheers for watching.